welcome to our webinar, Living on a Looney, How to Save Money in Canada Couponing. My name is Jessica Lounsbury and I work in the Office of Alumni Engagement here at McMaster. Our guest speaker this evening is a class of 2018 alumna, Kathleen Cassidy, a graduate in the Faculty of Social, Social Science with a major in Communication Studies. A professional marketer by day, she is an extreme couponer by night. She started couponing in university to help stretch and save her money. Fast forward five years later, she turned her couponing knowledge into a hobby, helping others via her social media channels titled Living on a Looney. Initially, she started her channels to share her couponing knowledge, but during the pandemic, it grew into much more than that. With 345,000 followers on TikTok and 30,000 on Instagram, she posts easy to follow videos teaching people how they too can save money. A bunny mom of two, Kathleen likes to save money on everyday items so she can attend concerts. If you have a question for Kathleen this evening, please type it in using the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. Once Kathleen has done her presentation, we'll have lots of time to answer questions at the end. Here to share her tips and tricks to help make your money go further in Canada through couponing, loyalty po points programs, and cashbacks, uh, cashback apps, please welcome Kathleen Cassidy. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Jessica. Uh, excited to be here with all of my fellow McMaster alumni to share kind of my non-conventional ways of how I found my road to financial freedom using couponing and other methods of saving money in Canada. So uh, just to touch on it before anyone asks, um, this is my coupon room. So you can see some of my stash behind me. Um, it is not as full as it looks, <laughs> but definitely um, in my stockpile room. And one of my favorite things to kind of showcase when making content, um, most of the stuff behind me I have gotten for free. So love to kind of share that knowledge and see how other Canadians can save as well. So kind of how I found my road to where I am now was actually through my journey at McMaster. Um, partway through my undergraduate year, uh, I would say probably in my third year out of the five years that I did, I found that you know, tuition is expensive, I think we can all agree on, but I was looking for a way to save money to kind of enjoy those everyday elements that I still wanted to participate in without feeling guilty about something. So social outings, whether that be, you know, traveling, going out for that extra meal to a new restaurant, a concert, those types of things. I feel like a lot of times as a student, even myself, I was guilty of it, um, is kind of saying, you know, like, oh, we have to be responsible. We can't do that. We can't go enjoy that event. Um, and I didn't want to live like that anymore. So thankfully, Fortino's um, right across from McMaster on Main Street West has that beautiful coupon board. And it was a really great opportunity to kind of look at those coupons and say, how can I use this? Uh, as most of us probably have seen that ex show extreme couponing, it was very US based. So I wasn't really sure what I could do with that. Um, but I just kind of taught myself and grew to start saving money and then wanting to start these social media channels to really um, share that experience with other people to show Canadians how they could start saving money as well. So that's kind of where I started on this journey. I started my social media pages and with no real expectation, to be honest, just kind of putting things out there and seeing what would happen. Uh, obviously, the last two years, the pandemic, moving into inflation, all of those things now, um, there has been a huge following that I've been able to grow that I'm very thankful for. And I think a lot of that comes from those kind of feelings that we all want to save money and be able to spend things on what we enjoy versus what we need. So that's really something that I like to focus on on my pages, how can we get, you know, everyday essentials for free or very cheap, and then you can put that towards what you really enjoy in life. So that's something that um, is really close and near to dear to my heart, helping other Canadians save money. And then also, you know, with all of this stuff, how can I help people in the community as well? So that's kind of what I showcase on my pages. As Jessica said, I normally showcase weekly videos, what deals you can do, how you can save money, and really try and break down that barrier that couponing is this big, scary, time invasive um, practice because it doesn't have to be. So some of the things that I teach about when we're talking about couponing is really four different realms. 
One of them is everyday coupons. So not kind of your Sunday clip the paper kind of coupons anymore. Most coupons can very easily be found in store. You can just, you know, take them as you're grocery shopping. Um, that is one way to find coupons. Moving into kind of the more digital area, we have a lot more opportunity now. So as mentioned, we have cashback apps, which are similar to your old kind of mail-in rebate, if you shall. You purchase the product ahead of time, you upload your receipt, and then that way you save money, it is sent back to you. So that's another great opportunity that has kind of come about over the last few years. And then I really touch on loyalty points. So this can look anything like based off of the stores you shop. So PC Optimum, we have Air Miles, but also looking at, I know there was a lot of questions on credit cards. How do I know if I'm getting the best deals, the best points? So I do touch on that and try to help Canadians um, focus on what is best for you and how you can save money and earn the most points there as well. And then uh, the final kind of realm of this is free stuff. So I don't know about you folks, but I love free stuff. And there's a lot of ways to get different free stuff in Canada. Um, and that's just based off of companies wanting you to A, try out their new products or become brand loyal. So I do share a lot of those types of deals as well. So that's just a little bit about my pages, kind of how they've come to be. Um, as Jessica mentioned, I am a marketer full time. Um, so this is kind of like my side hobby, but I would say, you know, it's a second full time job for me. And I just love being able to share that knowledge with Canadians, producing this content um, and being able to help others save money, help their communities, etc. So it's really become kind of a second full time job for myself, um, but definitely love sharing that knowledge. And I know there was some questions from you folks. And if you have any other ones, you can drop them into the chat. And then more than happy to kind of answer what questions and what you're interested in talking about. Perfect. So um, maybe we can start. There was a few that were pre-submitted. Um, and just want to know um, where you find the time to search for your deals. Like, where um, you had mentioned looking for couponing in uh, grocery store aisles and what have you, um, whereabouts in the actual store can people look for these deals? Yeah, so I would say, again, couponing doesn't have to be this big labor or time intensive project. It really doesn't have to be. Um, as a content creator, I feel like it looks like I spend a lot more time on it than and I do than when I was just a university student. Um, I would say when I was in university, you know, I had two jobs. I was in school full time. I didn't have a lot of time. So I would spend maybe one to two hours. Um, in terms of finding coupons, you can normally do that in your normal grocery shop. So if you just walk up and down the aisles, you will be able to see either like a wayfinding fin that's on an aisle or an actual tear pad of coupons um, that are normally directly by products that they associate with. So that is one of the easiest ways to find coupons in store. Um, and then that way, you know, you can use them at cash uh, at checkout when you are buying that item or if you want to save them for another week, you can take a couple and do that as well. That's great. And you mentioned there are um, where I've started following you on your social media channels, which I've put in the chat so people can um, connect with you if they're interested. Um, but one of the questions I had too was, are there, where, where could you find coupons to print off or digital coupons, if you will, um, if there aren't, if people aren't finding them in store, is there different websites or different um, places to go to find digital coupons to pick up? Print off. Yeah, for sure. So um, it really depends on your area too. I will be totally transparent. If you're in a more rural section, you may have a harder time finding coupons in your smaller, you know, food land or something like that. Um, I do have on my profiles. So on my Instagram, living on a loony or TikTok, um, I do have a link in my bio. And basically I have compiled a whole website of resources there. So this will hopefully clearly explain the different cashbacks apps that I use, um, as well as there's a whole section on printable coupons as well. Um, but if you are ever, you know, looking for coupons and you can't find them, I strongly encourage you to check out um, any of your favorite brands pages, whether it's their website, their social media, give them a call, send them an email or a DM and just say, you know, hey, you know, I really love your products. Do you have any coupons that you send out to consumers? And most of the time those companies will say yes. 
just based on that one question I had for you, um, I often don't like giving out um, an email address. Would you recommend, I know that once you sign up for stuff, you get a lot of emails back. Do you recommend having a separate maybe email address to kind of um, filter all of that into that you can check into every once in a while? And um, what would you, like, how do you organize your coupons and how do you organize um, the offers and emails that you get from signing up to these companies? So 100%, that is exactly one of the first things that I actually recommend um, when it comes to, you know, signing up for anything is to have a separate like junky email, I like to call it. That's just your couponing email. Um, So basically, you would sign up with that email for, you know, when you're reaching out to these companies, when you're doing, you know, a free thing, or for example, um, I know someone asked about, you know, talk about more free stuff. Um, a lot of the time you do have to use an email. So that would be the, you know, the junky one that I would use, whether that's, you know, for example, right now, Walmart Photo Center has a free offer that you can get free pictures printed. I would use that email and then future promos would go to that email exactly to your point, just check in on, on it every once in a while for those offers, those digital coupons, those types of items. No, that's great. Um, Someone's also asking about um, couponing for special diets. So they, um, in particular, have a special diet they have to follow. And a lot of the time, these products can be quite expensive. Do you have any tips or suggestions or places to go where you might find different couponing for special diets? Yeah. So I think, again, going back to that point, if you're looking for something very specific, I would always go to your favorite companies where you purchase from, pick up the phone, give them a call, ask if they have any coupons. Um, That would definitely be kind of my first course of action. I would also say, like, look at where you're shopping at. So for example, if you're shopping at Shoppers Drug Mart or, or a real Canadian superstore, do they have some type of other incentive that can help you earn, you know, points back or something when you're spending a certain dollar amount? So it may not necessarily be, you know, a physical coupon, but is there other ways that, you know, you could go to Shoppers Drug Mart and get $20 back in PC Optimum points for spending $6. So there's kind of, you know, the different levels to couponing in Canada. And I just also want to recognize that I know right off the bat that this can be a little overwhelming because there are kind of different segments, Um, but to just kind of really pick one area that you want to save on and just kind of start growing with that. And then you can learn, you know, to be a well-balanced couponer in time. (laughs) Perfect. So you just touched on Shoppers Drug Mart um, points program. and, And as we were prepping for the webinar, I had mentioned that Um, I started following some of your social media channels and have learned so much on the point system that I hadn't known about. I've had an (laughs) optimum card forever, but um, learning that you can get so much more back um, by just following certain things. Could you maybe go into detail and explain some of those um, ways to get more points for cash back at later date and how that works? If you could go into explaining that, that would be great. Yeah. So again, I will say PC Optimum is definitely its own big beast. There's a lot to learn there, but to Jessica's point, once you kind of start to understand the system, you can realize the potential. I feel like a lot of comments kind of right off the bat are, you know, oh, Shoppers Drug Mart is very expensive, Um, but there's great ways that you can save with the PC Optimum. So when you open your PC Optimum app, you will traditionally see an offer in there that might say like 20 times the points when you spend $50. And that means that you're earning 20 times the base points whenever you spend that dollar amount. So for example, when you spend $50, you normally get at least $15 back in points. So it really pays to kind of hit that minimum if you can, specifically at those shoppers, um, drug mart or pharma pre stores, because that is the best way to save But when we're looking at PC Optimum kind of in general, definitely, again, opening your app every week, loading those personal offers, seeing kind of what you have that week. Um, I go into a lot of detail about PC on my pages. So I know this is kind of a lot, but you can go back and check it later. Um, Right now, there are even like additional offers that, again, you can load to your card to save more money. They do make it very easy to earn points. Um, And I will say, you know, I've earned thousands and redeemed thousands of points a year that that really helps cut off those grocery costs. Perfect. Um, and kind of on that note, um, 
I mean, I guess you could start a list of things you need so that when there is one of those um, days where they have extra bonus points, you can maybe plan to do your shopping on those days. But um, someone's asking the question, how do you balance using coupons while avoiding making purchases you otherwise wouldn't have made? So in other words, saving money without being influenced to buy in excess. Yeah. And I think that's definitely different for every person to um, Jessica's point and um, kind of touching on like the idea of a stockpile. Most of the times you are preparing um, for the next sale and to stock up to get, to get you from sale one to sale two. Um, so it's really important to kind of look at those flyers and you start to understand, you know, what is a low price um, for that item versus, you know, running out of toothpaste and having to pay $3.99, but a week ago it was on sale for 99 cents. Um, so I think it really again, comes down to practice makes perfect as a couponer. Um, you definitely learn those prices. You learn to make your list, you know, take kind of like a small inventory of what do I have? What do I need? You know, what do we eat for lunch every week? What are we meal prepping? Um, all of those aspects are kind of taken into consideration. So you can really kind of plan down to what you need um, in terms of, you know, making sure you don't buy excess um, and not being influenced by those coupons. I think it's really kind of up to the person and how you are going to shop. Um, for myself, obviously, I, I do buy excess, but if it's free or a moneymaker, and then I would donate that stuff because I don't need it. Um, if you're just starting out as, you know, an everyday couponer, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, try and strive to have giant big hauls right away, I would strive to pay, you know, this week, I need to save on toilet paper, toothpaste, shampoo, and just kind of start small and kind of build up from there um, till you get a hang of, you know, price matching using coupons and those types of elements. That's great. And I like the idea of donating. So if you can get something that you're getting anyway, and you have excess of it, that's a great way to donate without having to spend a lot more money. Um, and in turn helps other people um, in the long run. Um, someone's asking, can you provide us with an example of what your weekly savings and freebies are? Yeah, so um, this week's kind of coming to an end. Um, so I'll try, I will be honest, I haven't taken a deep dive into next week's flyers. I normally do that uh, Thursday mornings on my page, so you can check those out. Um, but in terms of freebies, first off, I will say freebies come and go so quickly. Um, they are very sporadic. I can touch on the one I kind of just um, chatted about earlier, but right now on my page, you can find um, a a free Walmart photo center um, photo print. So they have that right now. They normally try and correspond those with different holidays. So um, with Father's Day coming up, that is what this one is advertising. So that is one example of a freebie. If you are not signed up for Walmart photo centers email list, I definitely recommend, you know, making your, your junkie email and doing that because you will get a lot of freebies there. Um, there are also like sampling websites and different things that will send you notifications. So I do try to touch on all this on my page there are kind of a lot of different ones you can sign up for would definitely recommend you know picking one or two and kind of going from there um in terms of weekly savings um not sure if you're meaning like the dollar amount or in terms of you know kind of like how i pick out what items i'm going to purchase this week um, I would say, again, going back to that kind of knowing what a low price is, uh, next week, if we look at No Frills in Ontario, they have a pack of 12 equals 24 toilet paper for $2.99, and I believe it's $3.99 out west. So that is like a rock bottom price that I would instantly catch my eye and be like, okay, do we need toilet paper? Like that's a stock up price. Um, so that's one thing. And again, I outlined these weekly um, on my social media pages to try and make it a little bit easier for my followers as well. That's great. Um, and just kind of on the free um, topic, someone is asking, you mentioned that the things um, located behind you were obtained for free. Can you give an example of how you got some of those things? Yeah, so um, for example, let's see, what do I have? 
uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a pack of poise pads in the very top corner. Um, so that was actually a promotion put on by the company that if you bought any pack of poise pads, you could upload your receipt and they would send you a $10 um, visa gift card back. So the pads were $9.99 and I got the $10 visa card back. So that's just one example. Um, and I will say, and a lot of them also go back to that shopper's drug mart aspect using the 20 times the points, um, combining that with coupons as well. So I do do some kind of like larger haul breakdowns on my page as well. And I really kind of like deep dive kind of like uh, extreme couponers um, in the States, the TV show when it used to, I kind of try to explain that to everyone as well. Um, two questions here. One is um, referring to the PC optimum points. Do we pay higher prices for that points program? Do you know, are you aware? Uh, so PC Optimum, if you just have the generic basic card, it is completely free. You can go in store, get a physical card, or you can download the app and start um, scanning it in store for points. They do have um, like a higher package that you can pay and you can earn more points. That's their PC Insider program. I will say personally, I do not have that. I tried it for a year and it wasn't personally worth it for me, um, just based off of the items that you have to buy, such as you get extra points on like Joe Fresh and um, the PC, like Black Label, those types of things. Um, it wasn't really stuff that I was buying. So I personally just have the free basic PC Optimum card. Um, in terms of higher prices, um, if you're referring to, you know, for example, Shoppers Drug Mart generally does have higher prices than say No Frills or a uh, real Canadian Superstore. But if you're looking to, on a grocery standpoint, earn PC Optimum points, get good deals and use coupons, um, my personal favorite places to shop would be real Canadian Superstore and No Frills that accept that PC Optimum program, that accept coupons, price matching, just a lot of layers that once you kind of build your confidence up, you can definitely save in, in tons of ways at those stores. Yeah. And someone just made a comment on that as well. Another idea to support these um, incentives is look for companies that offer discounts on certain days, like, um, you know, seniors days on, yeah. I think it's Thursdays for over yeah. 55. Um, so knowing what those um, days are too, and planning maybe some shopping around those days, if those incentives impact you. Exactly. And just um, another, I'll say just another kind of tidbit on that too, um, depending on, you know, your structure, your day-to-day -day activities, I really do find shopping as soon as the store opens or kind of right before it closes, um, an opportunity to get great savings as well. Um, I know a lot of stores will put what they call like a manager, or like a discount sticker on just to kind of move product out the door. Um, so that is another great time. If you're just looking to save some extra money, you know, your schedule is pretty flexible. Um, my favorite is going to Fortino's in the morning, uh, right when they open and they have 50% off stickers on tons of meat. It is a huge way to save money. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that myself. So that's good to know. <laughs> um, someone's mentioning they're not on social media, TikTok or Instagram, um, and asking if we're able to send out or post the resource pages, um, you're referring to, um, I did post the one page, um, where you have links to offers, but I will send out an email, um, later this week. And I'll work with Kathleen on, on getting all those, um, resources for you if you do not have social media so that you can, um, tap into that. Um, and someone's asking if you have a Facebook page. I do. It is also living on a loony. Yes. I would say the bulk of, yeah, my traffic definitely comes from Instagram and, um, TikTok, but definitely on Facebook as well. And YouTube with some more videos. So great. So we will make sure we share that in a, in a few days. I'll, I'll take a couple of days and collect all that information and get that out to you. Um, you had mentioned these, um, uh, different apps such as Rakuten. Someone's asking if there's drawbacks to using services such as this. Can you explain what a Rakuten is and uh, the pluses and minuses to maybe using something like that? Yeah, so there's again, lots of different apps that you can use if we're gonna take Rakuten, for example. Um, basically what that is, is um, a website that you would go to, you would type in, you know, I wanna shop at Old Navy today, and then it would launch you to the Old Navy website. You would do your shopping as normal, but when you cash out, you're actually gonna earn a percentage of cash back 
back on your offer for using the Rakuten website. So if your subtotal was $100, you know, they had 10% cash back, you would earn $10 back into your Rakuten account. Um, and then once you want, you can cash that out and they basically send you a check or an e-transfer with that money. Um, so, you know, as myself, as a way of trying to save money, um, I personally love a lot of these websites. I will say that link um, that you shared earlier um, with my link tree with all those websites, those are all things that I personally use. I love, I recommend um, anything that I have had a bad experience with or don't, um, wouldn't recommend to use myself is not on there um, in full transparency. But those types of sites um, are great initiatives to, you know, kind of get those extra dollars back. And I do recommend recognize that yes, it may be an extra step, um, but it can really add up in the long run. I, in terms of Rakuten, I've only been using it for a few years and I think I've cashed, you know, something like almost $2,000 out. So especially when you're looking at shopping on those, um, you know, holiday periods, those types of things, they have insane cashback offers. And that really does add up over time if you're shopping online. That's great. Thank you. Um, how do you keep track of physical coupons um, and digital coupons and using them before they expire? Is there a, do you have a strategy? Do you have a <laughs> method? So I, have, I can do a little show and tell. Um, I will say everyone is very different. I like to be organized. So I have like this little photo album and it basically outlines, I have a lot of my coupons kind of in here. So these are kind of, you know, like my more special ones. Um, there are free coupons in Canada, friends. <laughs> um, but I personally like to keep them in a photo album. I'm a very visual person, so I like to flip through them. Again, as you become, you know, more into couponing, you kind of know what's out there, what you've grabbed. Um, but definitely recommend, you know, grabbing those coupons that you think you are going to use. So for example, at the grocery store, if you're buying Crackle Barrel cheese and there's a coupon there, you know, if you're buying one now, definitely take a coupon to use. But if that's something you buy every week, you know, maybe take an extra two or three just to save over that time as well. Um, and then you can definitely, you know, kind of keep those in your purse. Or if you want to get, you know, like a separate book or something like that, you can do that as well. Sorry. Um, that's great. Thank you. Um, you had mentioned price matching. This is something that I've always, I've tried it a couple times and I, I struggled with it a bit. Um, can you explain how, when, how to price match, who price matches, um, and what the best way to go about that is. Um, I think sometimes it can feel daunting to someone, but I think if you can um, get it down to a science that it may be helpful in the end. So is there some tips or tricks or um, hints you can give us regarding price matching? For sure. Uh, so in terms of let's talk main grocery stores, real Canadian superstore, no frills, giant tiger and fresh go are currently the stores that price match in Canada for grocery stores. Um, and what you want to do is I always recommend to just try with one item. Like your first time is definitely a daunting task. Kind of build your, your courage, your self-esteem up when it comes to price matching, just like anything else. Um, so I personally use the Flip app which is basically just all digital flyers around your area. Um, you can use, you know, your normal paper flyers if you're more comfortable, but I really do find that having all the digital flyers there just makes it very easy. Um, so basically what you would want to do in the flip app is, you know, again, say Crackle Barrel Cheese is what you're trying to price match. You would um, type it in, find the best price. And each store, they do make it a little bit difficult. They each kind of price match their own competitors within their local region, but there's normally always a sign in store that says who they price match. Um, so for example, let's say we're going to Real Canadian Superstore. I want to price match Walmart. I would just show them the ad at the cash, say, you know, hey, I have a price match for this Cracker Barrel cheese. Here it's at Walmart for $4.44 they just price match it and continue on with your transaction. Um, so I do have on my page as well, and I can share the links to some of these more specific videos, but I have kind of like my great acting with some little reenactment scenes and how you can go about it and stuff too. But again, definitely try with one item, kind of build up your confidence from there. Um, and, and then you will get better and you know, you can price match a lot more. That's great. So the idea is when you're looking at these flyers, you're shopping at one store, but if you see it less expensive at another store. The idea is you can maybe 
price match and get it for the same price, but only have to shop at one store instead of going around exactly. to different stores. And that's why, you know, personally and in my area, I do really love shopping at Real Canadian Superstore or No Frills because they kind of have all those elements. You can price match, use coupons, earn those PC points. It's really one of the most optimum ways to save the most money, in my opinion. No, that's great. Thank you. Um, Someone's asking if you can use expired coupons at the grocery store. Uh, So unfortunately in Canada, you cannot. So yes, once it is expired, uh, it has to go in the trash. Um, I know some U.S. um, stores actually take expired coupons and it's like a whole thing down there. But unfortunately, we don't have that luxury in Canada. Um, Kind of on that topic as well. Someone's asking if mislabeled items tend to be free or if you see something that's mislabeled or or, uh, an error in an ad about something, is there oftentimes you can get something for free or at a discounted price? Uh, So not um, if it's like a flyer misprint or something like that necessarily, Um, but I believe they're referring to the scanning code of practice, which is put on by the Retail Council of Canada. Um, So that actually does outline, for example, if you are at Walmart and there is a display that says this item is $9.99, you take that to the cash, it rings up for $12.99 and you can prove, you know, you take them to the section or you have a picture or whatever. Um, The Retail Council does say in scanning code of practice that you get $10 off of that advertised price. So in that sense, if it's $9.99, it would be free. Um, and then if it was, you know, say $12.99 advertised, you would pay the $2.99 with the $10 off. But um, I would definitely recommend, you know, um, Googling scanning code of practice and kind of educating yourself on those systems because um, they can be very complex. Yeah, good to know. And also good to pay attention when you're a hundred percent pay attention. Yeah. Yes. I was at the store the other day and I think I grabbed uh, a half cantaloupe, but the label on, on it said salad for, and it was double the price oh, or something. No. It was just mislabeled, but it, yeah. but had I not noticed that I probably would have paid double on my bill. So it's good to pay attention and take a little extra time to look at things. Um, can you use coupons you print at home at the grocery store? So what you were referring to ones online that you can print off at home. Are those are you able to use those in the grocery store? Uh, so for the most part, yes. Um, any printable coupon can be used at any grocery store. Um, that being said, I will say that there could be certain grocery stores or a certain coupon um, that can be declined. And that could be a print coupon, a regular coupon. Um, a, at the end of the day, coupons are a privilege for us to be able to use and save money, um, but no store technically has to take them. So they can refuse them. So I know sometimes, um, especially with print coupons, um, it becomes a little iffy if that store or has had, you know, a bad experience in the past, if there's been a fraudulent case or something. Um, So print coupons, you know, kind of are a touch and go. In theory, yes, you can use them. Um, In reality, it may not always work. Um, But I would recommend when you are printing, I know a lot of print people print in black and white because they think they're saving money. But for some reason, I would always recommend printing in color because it seems to look a little bit more uh, legit, if you will, um, and seems to be accepted a little bit more. Yeah, that's great to know. Um, Someone mentioned back to the PC optimum points. I thought you used to get a point for every dollar you spent at PC, but it doesn't seem to happen anymore. Are these bonus points that we're now seeing for purchasing certain items a replacement of this? Do you know? Uh, So for PC Optimum, when um, it integrated the PC program with the Optimum, I don't know how many years ago that was now, um, but when, you know, Loblaws kind of took over with Shoppers Drug Mart, um, so you will not get a base point on grocery products. So you will get a base point. So you get 15 points per dollar at Shoppers Drug Mart, but that does not carry over to every great day grocery stores, unfortunately, anymore. So at Shoppers Drug Mart, yes, you will get points per dollar that you spend. However, at the grocery stores, you will not. So it will rely, yes, on those personal offers that you have in your account. Um, The flyer ads, you know, buy $15 of Kellogg's, get however many points back. Yes, you will have to rely on those um, at the grocery store to earn your points. That's great. I have a couple people asking, what is your best story ever or best deal you've ever gotten? 
I keep seeing that and I'm like trying to filter through one in my head and I'm like, I don't know if I can just pick one, but <laughs> um, I will say, I think one of my favorite and kind of most unexpected deals, um, if you can see these very large packs of Royale toilet paper in the back, I walked into Real Canadian Superstore. One day I was just, I was in a rush actually, it always happens that way, but I was in a rush um, and I walked in and there was this huge skid of these toilet paper packages that they must have been clearing out due to, you know, no longer carrying that size of package or whatever. Uh, and the sign said 297. And I kind of like looked at it and I was like, that can't be real. And I didn't bring my coupons or anything in with me because again, I was just going to go in and out. Um, but I had $3 off coupons in the car. So it was free at the end of the day. I think I paid a little bit of tax on each one, um, but this was great. I have a couple here still. And then I was able to donate and give some to family and friends too. So that was really great. That's amazing. I love how you look for those deals. And if you have excess, you donate them. I think that's an amazing way to give back. Um, Someone's asking if accumulated points ever expire. Uh, so for PC Optimum and Air Miles, they do not. Okay. Um, and kind of on that points um, subject, we had a couple questions about credit cards and point credit cards. Um, do you know offhand if there is a good credit card for points or cash return? Um, and if it's worth getting a credit card? either for points or cash return in your opinion? Yeah, so again, I am not a financial advisor. This is just all my personal use. Um, but I would say that it really depends on what your wants and needs are. So for example, if you really want to travel and accumulate points for air miles, you might have a different credit card than someone like myself um, who has, you know, the PC MasterCard, who I'm really just trying to accumulate more PC optimum points so I can um, pay less for my groceries every week. Um, so again, it really kind of determine, you need to determine what are you trying to save for? And that can definitely help you with what credit card you want to purchase. I think at the end of the day, my biggest advice is to make sure you're getting a free credit card. You do not want to be paying a fee every year because that's kind of counterintuitive. And a lot of the times you're not really putting yourself forward um, in that sense at all. So Personally, I have, um, I'm with TD. I have one of the TD infinite visas, I believe it's called, that has a pretty high percentage of cash back. So I have that one for kind of everyday purchases um, that are not PC Optimum related. And then I have a PC Optimum card that I use at Shoppers Drug Mart, uh, Real Canadian Superstore, all SO, you get extra points there as well. Um, so I kind of maximize and earn more PC Optimum points that way. Um, so if you're really into PC Optimum points, you know, get your gas at Esso, um, shop at one of those Loblaws banner stores. I definitely recommend that. You can also look when you have that card. A lot of the time they have like extra bonus days. So you may get like five extra dollars back in points just for paying with that card. Okay, that's good to know. So again, worth doing your research on various cards with whatever institution you're with and making an informed decision on, on what uh, would benefit you the most. So um, you touched on gas and point cards. Obviously, gas is crazy expensive right now. So I'm getting a lot of questions about gas um, or sorry, cards for gas points um, and what have you. Do you know which ones um which stations have points and um, in your opinion, which ones are worth getting and not? Yeah, so I think um, looking into first off, what gas station do you go to most of the time? And then I would say almost all of them have some type of loyalty card. Um, and then a lot of them have, you know, that, like that um, credit card on top of it. If you, you, you know, I don't think you want a hundred different credit cards in your name. I personally do not. Sometimes two freaks me out, um, but I would definitely recommend, you know, if you go to Husky, make sure you get their uh, loyalty card. If you're also like myself and you go to ESO, make sure you have your PC Optimum card. Look for those extra days where you get points. Again, if you do have the credit card on top of that, make sure you're paying with that. Um, for example, PC MasterCard, you get, you know, 35 points per gal or per liter versus is I'm um, just 15. So really look at again, what gas station do you go to and what do they have to offer you? Um, if that's your only option. Sorry, someone is asking 
Do you redeem your PC optimum points as you earn them or do you save them up? That's a question I always wonder myself when the best time to use your points is. I will say both. I'm a little bit of a points hoarder, I will say. Um, but the reason for that is one thing I always recommend, um, especially if you're trying to buy, you know, um, either stocking stuffers or electronics and stuff for the holiday season is at Shoppers Drug Mart, they always have a Black Friday event. And you may see those normal redemption events kind of in the flyers probably once a month, but the one before Black Friday is the best bang for your buck. So the how these events work is, you actually redeem some of your points and they give you additional points on top of that. So the normal one, for example, the highest tier is you redeem 200,000 points that would traditionally get you $200 off, but they actually top you up to $300. So you get a free $100 to spend at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, but right before that holiday period, they normally do, you know, redeem $250 in points and they top you up to 400. So you're getting an extra, you know, 150 on that. So that is personally when I am saving my points and trying to buy stuff for the holidays, one tactic that I do use. That's good to know. And a good tactic to use because there's always extra expenses around the holidays. So that might be a good way to navigate that. Um, I have a question about shopping at Costco. Um, are there deals to be had at Costco or is it um, compared to, you know, couponing and price matching? Um, in your opinion, is it what's the bonuses about shopping there? Yeah, so I will say, um, again, for, it's just my husband and I, so we are not a very big family um, and don't have a lot of freezer space, unfortunately. <laughs> so shopping at Costco doesn't necessarily work well for our family just based off the size, um, but also just based off of the prices. I can normally coupon and get, again, a lot of this stuff for free and then use my extra PC Optimum points to redeem for my food. Um, so for me, it's not personally worth it. But if you are an individual who doesn't have time, who doesn't have patience to do couponing, that Costco can definitely be an option for you. Um, I do think, you know, sometimes you have to be careful because Costco is not always cheaper, but there are, you know, a lot of the times that you can get great deals there. If you have room for the bulk, if you have that family size, etc. cetera. Um, but I will say that my guilty pleasure of Costco is the clothing. I think they have amazing prices on clothing. I think it's decent quality um, versus, you know, what you could be getting for double or triple the price. Um, so that is where I still do love Costco. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. So we have a little bit of time for a few more questions. If anyone else has a question, just type it in using the Q&A button at the bottom. Um, just kind of recapping what we've talked about so far. Um, it sounds like the best bet for everyone to do is just do the research about different apps, different promos, different loyalty point cards. Um, and in doing those re that research, finding out what works best for you. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the webinar, um, we will be sending out an email where we'll share a lot of these um, links to different pages, the social media accounts that you run that give great tips. I started following you a few weeks ago and I'm already learning a lot. <laughs> And you pick and choose what you like to exactly, uh, or what yeah. you will use, right? You, you won't use all of it, but you do find some interesting tips in there. So I find it, I've, I found it helpful already. And someone actually in the chat was just mentioning an app called Gas Buddy, where they find the cheapest gas in the area. So even doing things like that can help you save some money too, as well. Um, so if there's no other questions, I just want to say, you know, thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule tonight. Um, it's great to be able to learn different avenues to save money. And again, just do your research um, on the different apps and point systems out there and see what works best for you. Following our webinar tonight, you'll receive an, an email link to a survey. If you can kindly take a minute to fill it out, we appreciate the feedback. Um, for information on all of our upcoming alumni events, please visit our website at alumni.mcmaster.ca forward slash events. Um, and again, thank you once again for joining us. So keep an eye out in your inbox for an email later in this week or early next, and we'll be sharing all of this uh, wonderful information that Kathleen shared with us tonight. And this session was recorded, so we will send the recording out as well so you can share 
with family and friends that are looking to save a few bucks as well. So Kathleen, thank you again for sharing your information with us. And uh, I hope you all have a great evening. Awesome. Thank you all so much.